obviously that you both made some really interesting and very clever choices. To be fair, in the films you've done, you know, with Lady Bird and Call Me By Your Name, Black Panther, Get Out. It's Black Panther, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you nervous about kind of what you're going to accept and what you're going to do next? Is, is there a level now of expectation that, wow, this Well, there's a get, the, the Get Out universe and the Calling By Our Name universe yeah. are fusing. And uh, <laughs> uh, nobody liked that. <laughs> so, uh, no, I mean, um, mm, yes and no. I mean, again, this feels like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm very young, and yet there have been a lot of auditions that are no's and meetings that are no's and projects that you're a part of that get made but aren't necessarily well received. So this feels like appreciation time, and there's maybe two weeks left of having this nice kind of moment. So what comes from there will be great. I don't know, I, I find, the one thing I keep in my mind is like, hey, you know, have res, you know, respect the, uh, uh, respect the reception, if that makes any sense. And, you know, you, you have to try and be in the pedigree of Lady Bird or Call Me By Your Name or Get Out. You can't, uh, you know, you can't solve that out. Daniel, do you think you'll go back to writing? That's what I've been doing. Yeah. That's what I've been trying to do. And then just get out. She's gone mad. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, I, that's what I'm, I'm writing a, a TV show and a film. So I've been doing that more than acting. That's what's quite surreal for me. It's kind of like, like, all this is, I just made a couple of decisions. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then it's just like, whoa. Because um, I was just kind of was like, oh, man, like, I just felt this urge to, like, to, 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 to write. And, and, and I've got loads of ideas that I want to, like, make and, and you just have to put the hours in because you're reading and they go, oh, this is shit. Like, uh, and you're like, <laughs> I need to get back. Like, you know what I mean? You just have to put, the, there's no shortcut. No. You have to put, the, I mean, you don't want the shortcut, you want a long cut. The long cut's always more interesting. So you have to just do the work. Um, so yeah, like that's, that's kind of where my, my head's at, where I'm, where I'm heading, and then, yeah. And the thing you're writing, is there a part for a young, skinny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you got bulk up, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, there is. <laughs> okay. well, I'll text you, I'll text you. Right? All right, all right. <laughs> it seems like that perhaps this is a breakout year for both of you, but there's been a lot of hard work for many years along the way. Did acting find you or did you seek it out? <laughs> oh, really? um, yeah, it kind of found me. Yeah, it's a bit, I was being a. Can we swear? <laughs> Can we swear? Is we allowed to swear? Do whatever you want. Free space. Uh, yeah? yeah. All right, I was a shit. Um, <laughs> so I was a shit at school. So then it kind of, so a teacher told my mum, like, you should get out of your system. And, um, and then I did writing as a kid. So it was kind of like just, I just did stuff. And I was like, and then um, I had the opportunity at Anna Shares um, to do improv. And then I did that. And then I was like, oh, I like this. Uh, and then I saw people making money. I was like, what? <laughs> so I was like, cool, let's try this. And then I just fell in, just fell in love with it. So it kind of was just really natural. Yeah, and uh, I guess same for me in some ways. Um, I, my mom had, had been an actress, and I had a grandfather who was a screenwriter. So um, I had done it a little bit uh, growing up. But what really was the impetus for me was getting to a performing arts high school in New York called LaGuardia. And I just, I remember being 13 on the first day of drama class, really falling in love with it and seeing how much fun it was. And, you know, the, 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 more, the more seriously you took it, the better you got at it. Daniel, I guess with a lot of the audience here growing up here, we um, would have seen you on Skins. And also that was a training ground. Not Bing. Huh? Oh, no, Bing is Black Mirror. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. But we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. PK. <laughs> Um, with Skins, a training ground, not only as an actor, but also for you as a writer. Yeah. Um, what kind of, what, how did Skins come about? Um, I just kind of, like, I, I had a, my agent was funny. It's a funny dude. <laughs> they were dodgy. And then, um, <laughs> so I was like, well, I've got to do my own thing. And then, uh, and I just started writing plays and, uh, and acting in them and directing them at Heat and Light Theatre Company in Hampstead Theatre, which is, doesn't really exist anymore. And then like, and then Skins were looking for young writers. And so I got Skins, it was me, Dev and Kaya were at the same open audition in Holloway. We was all there. And then um, they found us just like we did that. And then I, I joined as a writer and it was just that kind of, 
Yeah, we, just, we was just doing, it was like people that went to the open audition were already doing it extracurricular, like doing extracurricular activities, so they were into it. So no one was really trying to get like, because it was an E4 show, like, E4, those times, just showed Friends and Scrubs. Like, <laughs> it wasn't a serious channel, like, so we were just doing, like, we were just like, oh, this is channel, like, like, we can do what we want. So, like, we just did what we wanted, and, uh, and, uh, and then it just became a, became a thing out here. What was your kind of first career, first break into the world of acting? Uh, you know, there's two that I keep in my head. One was a commercial I did when I was 10 years old for Disney, or Disneyland, I guess. So I went down to Florida to the theme park. And uh, it's funny, they had three kids cast. There's like an American version, and I had to do the French-Canadian version. So that was my first dialect work. They had me memorize how to say, what an awesome vacation, but with a Canadian accent in French. <laughs> um, and the other one, as, as it is for a lot of actors in New York, the mothership, it's uh, Law & Order. That was like my first uh, like real acting gig, and I got my throat slit. And then Anthony Anderson comes up to my body, and he's like, that's a dead body. And, uh, <laughs> so that was my first, yeah. 